Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Get right to it this morning. The Euro Yen bar yesterday, incredibly important. Makes no sense, but this is FX, right? It's not supposed to make sense. Bullish engulfing uh, at the end of a long period of bear market. New high today already. We've traded up to 54. We're down at 16 now. This is a really tough trade to structure because the risk reward your stop has to be below uh, 129.38. But looks like Euro Yen is going to head higher in the coming days. And people don't really care about what's happening in Italy, I guess. And the and, uh, the negative dollar story on the euro side is more important. Let's take a look at euro here. Indecision day in the middle of the range. Should be some stops above 64, which was yesterday's pre market high. That was the open. High at the open. Sunday night. Uh, so there should be some stops there. I'm not really sure what to do with Euro. I mean it could go could go either way. We're dead in the middle of the range. Based on the Euro Yen chart, I feel like Euro is probably gonna go higher, but no real powerful conclusions to be made on that. Euro sterling had almost bearish engulfing, which is kinda weird with Euro yen going higher like that but it should be noted that 88 84 now 200 day moving average it stopped just there yesterday a break back down through this moving average is bearish just pointing that out obviously sterling yen must be higher with euro yen not as powerful of a bar but the 200 day moving average on this, uh, 147.78. What you can do is have a look at the 200 day on the Euro Sterling, have a look at the 200 day here on, on Sterling Yen, and then take a look at your cable chart. And if they're all coinciding, so if it's Sterling driven, uh, it makes it stronger, more powerful uh, of a move. So, there's no real trade on this, but these are just something to watch. RBA last night, I haven't even looked to see what they did, but based on the chart, you can see they didn't really do too much. 77, 76. Uh, high's been 92, the low's been 60, so it was a dull, it was a dull one. Not much to say there. Uh, dollar CAD. Boy, we got what we wanted on that yesterday, right? 139.20. Remains bullish. BOC tomorrow. Surely this is a fade uh, after all of these green bars. Your fade point is going to be some random number like 130.30. No real technical expertise going into this. You're just kind of like, this is extended. We're going to go into BOC. People are going to have to take some risk off the table going into that. So, maybe 130.30. We saw some dollar cat today. Dollar Rand, unfortunately, looked like bullish, bearish engulfed yesterday. We're still core long. We've been long now since 64, and our average is very good, but what we're looking for now is some sideways action, uh, and then the resumption of the uptrade with some more bad news from the uh, parliament, or just generally bad news from the country. We're not going to add after a powerful bearish bar like this, so we're just going to sit tight see how the prices go 
77 was a break up. We held 80 today. Ideally, it holds. Let me just push back up to 90, and then we break the new highs tomorrow. In watch mode there. Equities shot higher yesterday. Doesn't really, doesn't really mean anything. We're still in a bear market. Uh, I doubt we're going to get above these highs here, 2790. But that's still 70 handles. There's no real trade here in, in S&Ps. Uh, you're better off just being patient and trying to fade any moves up to 2800 or jumping on board with some sort of momentum gig uh, through 2664. But as you can see, no super strong setups here on the European Open. So we're just going to sit tight, be patient, grab some cash as it presents itself. We're not on to any super strong trends here or any powerful setups, so patience is the name of the game. Good luck, gents. Ciao.